Exercises Burning Fat Exercises burning fat is the safest and healthiest way to stay fit. Excess weight is becoming an increasing issue for individuals of all classifications. The way of life, which is led by a contemporary male, usually contributes to the buildup of excess fats in the body, as well as the requirements of modern elegance call for ladies to be excellent in every little thing, beginning with the number. But being obese is a hazard not only to our appeal. Frequently, too many kilograms cause significant mental disorders and illness. Myths about burning fat. Myth one, harmful to eat at night. Indeed, eating in the evening leads to the accumulation of excess weight. This is due to biorhythms of the body. Food consumed in the dark is not practically digested and stored in the form of unnecessary fat and toxins. But a few proteins a few hours before bedtime will increase the production of growth hormones and hence the consumption of subcutaneous fat. It can be a glass of warm milk or other protein dish, but not carbohydrates. Myth two, exclusion of fatty foods from the diet. Many diets advise for weight loss entirely to exclude from the menu fats. This will lead to a complete violation of fat metabolism, and soon the weight will cease to decrease. Therefore, the diet must necessarily include unsaturated, unrefined fats in small amounts. Such fats contain vegetable oils, all kinds of nuts and seeds. Myth three, fruit diet. Fruit diet is more useful than buns and chocolate bars, but it cannot be called full and sufficient. Fruits do not contain proteins, so that the body will burn not only subcutaneous fat, but also muscles. But there are a lot of carbohydrates in fruits. Simple sugars such as fructose will add to your extra pounds. Myth four, weight loss with diet. No matter how seductively the minus 30 kilograms for 10 days diet did not look, it should be remembered that nothing happens without effort. Sharp restriction of calorie intake can lead to serious health problems. And to save the result of losing weight will be difficult if you count only on a diet. To effectively reduce weight, it is necessary to stimulate the synthesis of growth hormone. To do this, a diet with a high content of protein should be combined with the best workouts for fat burning. Myth five, aerobics is the fastest way to drive fat. In fact, the most efficient way to burn fat is strength training. It is strength training that enhances the metabolism and allows you to effectively lose weight without losing muscle mass and improving the appearance of your figure. Strength exercises stimulate fat burning after training. Myth six, the ideal figure is the result of losing weight. To think that weight loss will remove the defects of the figure is simply naive. Folds on the abdomen, flabby buttocks and thighs, ugly hands, all this will not go anywhere. The only way to become not only slim, but also smart is to do exercises burning fat. Nutrition for burning fat. To burn fat did not lead to loss of muscle mass. Always follow the following dietary rules. Don't go on a hunger strike. Adequate training for burning fat with aerobic exercise requires not less food, but more. If you need to efficiently burn fat and at the same time achieve good results from training, you should consume on the day 29 to 32 calories per kilogram of weight. This will ensure the sufficient body food and at the same time will accelerate the metabolism to the desired level. Pay special attention to the choice of dietary fats in your diet. Use olive oil, a variety of nuts and seeds, fruits of avocado. These products contain monounsaturated fatty acids which allow you to burn fat and not lose muscle mass, so your weight will stay longer. Choose the right carbohydrates. Forget about sweets, donuts, and ice cream. Minimize the use of refined sugar. 
If it's difficult to do without a sweet, let yourself eat dark chocolate sometimes without additives. Observe the correct ratio of proteins of fats and carbohydrates. Intensive training for burning fat requires a constant supply of muscle protein. The diet should not be very poor on carbohydrates. Optimum to eat up to 30% protein and fat and 40% carbohydrates per day. Do not neglect breakfast. This way of reducing fat can lead to the opposite result. You will grow fat. If you don't have time to fully enjoy breakfast, use ready-made breakfast cereals with high fiber, whole grains, and a small amount of sugar. Time of weight training for burning fat. Give your training two to three days a week for 40 to 45 minutes. Between training should be one to two days of rest. The best time for training is between three and four o'clock in the afternoon. If you strictly follow the training schedule, after seven to eight weeks, the results will be visible. Breaks in training will lead to loss of athletic form. If you miss one to two weeks of classes, you'll have to get used to the loads and gain results. Power for weight training for fat burning. It is strictly forbidden to combine diets with power training for burning fat. Poor nutrition will lead to exhaustion of muscles and adipose tissue will remain untouched. Avoid harmful fats and carbohydrates from the diet. Before a workout, eat a small amount of high calorie food. It can be oat flakes with dried fruits. After training, it is useful to drink a glass of freshly squeezed juice or eat unsweetened fruit. Aerobic workouts for burning fat. In aerobic or cardio training for fat burning, muscle contraction occurs through the use of a significant amount of oxygen. Aerobic exercises are running, dancing, walking, swimming, cycling, and the like. Aerobic training requires the athlete to have a high degree of endurance because the muscles can be in tension for several minutes while the exercise lasts up to several hours. Choose for yourself your favorite aerobic exercise. For example, morning jogging. Carrying out cardio regularly, you will increase your immunity, strengthen the vessels and heart muscle, develop breathing, and increase resistance to stress. Features of cardio workouts for fat burning. During cardio workouts, you need to monitor your pulse. To burn excess fat, it is necessary to maintain a pulse at a level not lower than 120 beats per minute. Beginners need to start with minimal loads and gradually increase them. The optimal load each chooses depending on their state and sensations during the training. It is recommended to refrain from eating two hours before and after exercise. With diseases of the cardiovascular or respiratory system, a doctor's consultation is necessary.